Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will discuss about the Kramer's rule for matrix solution. Now, the Kramer's rule states that xi is equal to the determinant of ai divided by the determinant of a, where this xi is the ith unknown variable in a series of equations and this determinant this a is the determinant of the coefficient matrix and this ai is the determinant of the special matrix formed from the original matrix by replacing the column of coefficients of xi with column vector of constants that is if we have an example it will be clear to you how what is the meaning of this ai this a and this xi if i have an example let us say i have a system of linear equations like 6 x1 plus 5 x2 is equal to 49 and another one is 3 x1 plus 4 x2 is equal to 32 if i have this system of linear equations first of all the first step is to express these system of equations in matrix form so we will express these in matrix form that is the matrix form is a x is equal to b where this a this a is coefficient matrix coefficient matrix and this x is the solution vector solution vector and this b is vector of constants vector of constants now we will express the first part the first step is to express the given system of linear equations in a matrix form that is for the first one is a coefficient matrix so i will write here the coefficient of x1 is 6 and the coefficient of in second equation that is 3 similarly uh, the coefficient of x2 is uh, x2 is 5 and the coefficient of x2 in second equation is 4 so this is our this is our a now this x is the solution vector that is the variable vector x1 and x2 now this is equal to the this b the vector of constants that is 49 and 32 so i will write 49 and 30 so this was the first step now second step is to find the determinant of this matrix which is a now the determinant uh, find so I will write here find determinant find determinant that is a determinant of a I will write here the determinant is that a is this determinant a is equal to now the determinant of this is now 6 into 4 minus 3 into 5 that is 6 into 4 minus 3 into 5 that is first multiplying the elements on the principal diagonal and subtracting from it uh, the elements uh, of non principal diagonal that is 3 and 5 so this is 6 4 are 24 minus 3 5 are 50 now this comes out to be 9 so this was the first step first step was to express the system of equations in matrix form and find the determinant of this matrix the coefficient matrix which is a now the second part is the second step is solve for x1 now to follow uh, to solve for x1 that is to solve for 
solve for x1 x1 that is to solve for this variable replace replace column first column first that is this column column first that is the coefficient the the coefficient of x1 with the column of constant with the uh, with the vector of constants vector of constants that is b and forming forming a new matrix new matrix matrix a1 that is uh, to solve for x1 replace, replace the column first we replace this column first with the vector constant vector of constant that is we replace this this column with this column so in place of 63 we write 49 and 32 and form this new matrix and name it a1 that is our a1 is our new matrix is that is a1 which is the new matrix that is replacing these elements the coefficients of x1 is with the constant vector that is uh, uh, vector of constants so in place of 63 i will write 49 49 32 and this will remain same for you four so this is our a1 now we will find the determinant of this a1 that is uh, find find determinant determinant of a1 now the determinant of a1 is a1 is now this is 49 into 4 49 into 4 minus 32 into 5 32 into 5 so this is 4 4 4 9 are 36 is 4 4 are 16 17 18 19 so this is 196 minus uh, 4 9 here 5 4 are 20 and 5 3 are 15 16 17 uh, 16 sorry so this is 196 minus 160 that is 36 so our determinant a1 is 36 and we will use the creamers formula for finding the x1 therefore using using creamers creamers for rule that is uh, x1 that is the value of the x1 is equal to this determinant here it is a1 this special uh, determinant dividing with the coefficient matrix determinant which we have calculated here that is 9 so dividing this by this determinant now the uh, determinant of the new matrix was that is 36 and the determinant of the coefficient matrix the ordinal matrix was 9 so this will give us 9 1s are 9 6s are 9 4s are that is 9 ones are 9 fours are so the value of x1 is 4 x1 is 4 now similarly we have to solve for x2 that is the next step is to solve for x2 we will um, we will go by the same steps except for uh, the x1 is we have the x2 that is to solve for x2 uh, to solve solve for x2 
x2 replace replace column 2 column 2 of x2s that is the coefficient that is the coefficient whatever this is the spelling i am somewhat weak in the spelling so coefficient of x2 from original matrix original original matrix with the column vector that is with the column vector column vector column vector of constant is constant is b now this will form forming a new matrix matrix that is a2 that is a2 is equal to that this new a2 is we have to replace the column second of the original matrix with the vector of constant so in place of 5 4 we have 14 9 32 so our new matrix will be 6 3 and 49 and 32 49 and 32 now we have to find the determinant of this a2 that is the determinant of a2 is equal to 6 into uh, 32 multiplying the principal di uh, element is on the principal diagonal minus uh, 3 into 49 3 into 49 so this will give us that is 6 twos are 12 uh, 6 threes are 18 that is 192 minus uh, 3 nines are 27 3 fours are 12 13 and 14 that will give us 192 minus 147 now 12 minus 7 is now 12 minus 7 is 5 5 now mm. this is 8 minus 4 is 4 so determinant is here a2 is our 45 therefore again using Kramer's rule using Kramer's Kramer's rule there says now x2 will be equal to so I will make it uh, unique from these x ones here so it is not necessary we can use only x2 not the bar on the top of this now that x2 will be equal to the determinant of the special matrix a2 divided by the ordinal matrix now the determinant of the new matrix was 45 here and divided by the ordinal determinant that is 9 now 9 ones are 9 ones are and 9 5 are so this will be 5 implies x2 is equal to 5 so this was all about solving a matrix solution using Kramer's rule so I will repeat here Kramer's rule status that this xi that is the ith unknown variable is equal to the uh, special matrix which we form divided by the original matrix now this special matrix if we are given a system of linear equations this first of all we will express these system of linear equations in matrix form by this very rule that is ax is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix x is the solution vector and b is the vector of constant so this is our a this matrix is a and this x is and this solution solution vector and this is the vector of constant now we first we find the determinant of this matrix this coefficient matrix now determinant as we have seen in earlier videos we can use uh, that uh, uh, that knowledge here that is the determinant of this a is equal to first we multiply the elements on the principal diagonal that is 6 into 4 and from it we subtract the elements on non principal diagonal data 3 and 5 so this is 24 minus 15 is equal to 9 now to solve for x1 if we have to solve for x1 we will replace the column first that is the column of the coefficients of x1 
we replace this column with the column of vector of constants and from this we form a new matrix that is a1 so in place of 63 we replace these two uh, elements by 49 and 32 so i have written here 49 and 32 and this is same for you four so a1 is this is our resulting new matrix now we have to uh, we have to find the determin determinant of this new matrix now the determinant as we have seen we multiply these two terms and from it we subtract these two terms or elements here so this is uh this is our a1 that is 36 now using the Kramer's rule which says x1 is equal to the determinant of the new matrix divided by the ordinal matrix that is the determinant was here 36 divided by the ordinal matrix was 9 so this is 4 now the value of x1 is 4 similar cases we are solving with solving for x2 and now we have to replace column 2 to solve for x2 we have to replace this column with the vector of constants that is uh, we have 6 3 here now we have to change these 5 4 in, uh, with uh, this 49 and 32 and we have done he, uh, this here we write 49 and 32 so when solving for x2 we replace the second column when solving for x1 we replace the first column now finding the determinant of the new matrix that is a2 which we got here 45 now again using the Kramer's rule and solving for the x2 which gives us x2 is equal to the new matrix divided by the original matrix that is the determinant of the new matrix divided by the determinant of the original matrix so this is 45 divided by 9 which is equal to 5 and the value of x2 is 5 so this was all about the Kramer's rule so for more videos on mathematical economics, please subscribe our YouTube channel EconMaths. Also like, comment and share if you like this video. Thank you.